Hi there, so today I'm going to be going through and showing you how to install Python 3 Plus for Windows and also how to get it set up with Visual Studio Code. So first off, you're going to want to head to the Python download page here. It'll be linked in the description below. Make sure to just come down here and hit download Python and that should have a version here. Uh, it might be a little bit higher than 3.10 by the time that you're reading this. It doesn't really matter too much, just make sure that you click download here. That'll download a file that'll run and then you just want to hit open and that'll pop up a window that looks like this. Now, most important, before you touch anything else, make sure that you check off this thing right here that says add Python 3 dot whatever to path. This is super important. If you don't do this, your Python installation, when you try and type in Python into your terminal, nothing will work. So just make sure you check that off. And then go ahead and hit install. Now, normally there'll be a little pop-up that pops up and prompts you to log in. Uh, I have previously already given access for Python, so it won't pop up for me, but it'll pop up for you. Uh, it'll just go through now and it will install Python for you and uh, I'll come back when it is finished. All right, now that Python has finished installing, we can go ahead and just make sure that everything worked. So if you come to your Windows icon, for most people, it'll be in the bottom left of their screen uh, or you can hit the Windows key. It's not right, right in between Control and Alt on most keyboards. Basically, when you hit it, it should pop up a little window like this and you're just gonna wanna hit, go ahead and type in CMD and that'll pop up a command prompt. <clears throat> It'll look something like this in here. Uh, alternatively, you can actually go ahead and if you have any folders that are on your desktop, you can also just click inside those folders, which will pop them open. And you can go ahead and at the top here, just type in CMD and hit enter, and it will do the same thing as well. Now, once we're inside here, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and type in Python. And when we do that, we should see a version number pop up in the top here. Um, we can go ahead and close this by pressing Control and C at the same time, or alternatively pressing Control and Z and then hitting Enter, and that will go ahead and that'll close that out for us. The other thing that we want to make sure is installed properly is what's called pip. So if we go ahead and we type in pip and then hit Enter, we should get a long list that pops up down below here, and that means that pip is installed. Pip basically is going to be required to be able to install other people's packages, and it's just super handy to make sure that you have it all set up from the get-go. Now, once you have that installed, you'll want an editor to work with in order to make your Python files. So for that, we have the Visual Studio Code, which I'll have linked down below. You can go ahead and just download any of these 64-bit installers if you just click the Windows version here and then install that. Um, you should be good to go. There will be an option that you can check off that will enable a setting when you're in any folder that you can just right click and just hit open with code. Uh, I would recommend checking that off. It makes it much easier to work with. Uh, alternatively, if you're on Windows 10 and you're on one of the higher builds of Windows 10, you can also inside here, you can right click and hit open with terminal and do that same thing in order to run your Python files. You can just go ahead and type Python inside here and just go ahead and do that. Now, if we go ahead and open up code, we just need to now configure it so that it works with um, Python. So when we pop it open, it'll look something like this. And what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to come to this side panel over here and there'll be a thing that says extensions. And if we go ahead and click that, we're just going to want to type in Python and it'll search for the Python extension. And you're just going to want to go with the one with the little blue check mark here that says it's from Microsoft and go ahead and install that. Now, once you install that, there is the option as well. You can install the Python extensions pack by Don uh, Germain and I would highly recommend this. This comes with some super handy packages pre-installed, uh, but it's entirely up to you whether or not you want to install that version or not. The standard Python version will work out just fine. And if you want to test that this is working, we can go in here and we can create a new file. So we can just say test.py, make sure that you have the .py extension down there. And from there, uh, you just want to make sure, uh, you'll, you might get a pop-up here that says restricted mode. Uh, you just want to go ahead and hit manage and just hit trust. And then once you do that, when you come back here, to the Python section, you'll see that there should be a Python version. Let me just quickly actually pull this tab up a little bit so that you can see. There should be a Python version that's just down in the bottom here. My version is just using one of my older ones because that's set to the default. You should see whatever Python version you just installed down here. And that means that you have everything set up. And so now if we try and type in Python code, so we say like from math import radians, that should work, or just any Python command should pop up here. And that's how you know that you've installed everything correctly and you're all ready to go. So thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.